joining me for today's live. These cards are going to blow your mind. And guess what? They are super simple. We're going to let designer series paper be the star, but check this out. This is a super easy corner fold card. Isn't that so pretty? And I've got another one here with the translucent flowers. I got a technique I'm going to share with you. These are super fun cards. I know you're really going to enjoy them. And uh, let's see, I've got, um, we're going to get Brenda. Brenda's on with me. She is going to be over there on YouTube answering your comments. Christina's here too. She's a little under the weather. <laughs> she, she came down with the sinus, ear infection, fever, body ache, the whole gambit. I'm telling you, bless her heart. But she is feeling better. She's over on YouTube, but for obvious reasons, you know, when you're sick, you just go, I don't think I want to be on live. So I totally respect that, Christina. But <laughs> she's over on YouTube. want to be alive, right? <laughs> yeah, she's right. Absolutely. <laughs> So, hey, before we get started, I just wanted to, I was reading some of the comments. Thank you guys so much for those of you that came to the Creative 8 retreat last weekend. We had such a great time, an amazing time. We made cards, we made boxes, we had techniques, we had all kinds of stuff. And it was just an absolute joy of a weekend. So wanted to thank you guys so much for being there. And I wanted to say this just because it's like, when I'm live, it's a good opportunity. Let me grab this. Um, so we were so excited because we're in print. We have a book. The Creative 8 uh, team has a book out. And a lot of you ordered it. It went on sale on Monday. But I wanted to take a minute to tell you guys they started shipping yesterday. Wow. So the shipping is going way faster than any of us anticipated. You know, they tell us the printing company says, you know, to be on the safe side, 21 days. I get that. I get that. But yeah, they went on sale Monday and they started shipping on Wednesday. So, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you go over to simplysimplestamping.com, uh, look under uh, Creative 8 up at the top, you'll see what I'm talking about. We are super excited um, about this book. It's got 20 card ideas. These are, are what we like to call the pre-retreat challenges. And we put them all in a book. And you see the challenge. And when I say challenge, don't let that be a bad word. Um, it's almost like a prompt. Okay, you're going to do, you know, a card with all shades of blue. And here's a card design. And then we give you two more. And all the measurements and the supplies and things like that. So if you're one, and I'm definitely one of those. I like my computer, don't get me wrong. But when I'm working, I love to have a book. Right, Bren? I know you're the same way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I even print out instructions and I hate walking back and forth to my computer and I am always printing down instructions so I can take them to my work area because right we yeah. print out the free downloads we print we, out so it's yep. kind of nice to have it all in a book and it's spiral yep. down so it can I always say paper crafters like paper yeah and so we like our our idea books so. yeah Absolutely. And so uh, that was one of the reasons the Creative 8 team was kind of inspired to even do that. And so, yeah, we're really excited that it went on sale on Monday. And I just want to let you guys know they're starting to ship. So you'll be seeing those really quick. Awesome. All right. Well, I let me tell you, I'm beyond thrilled to be working on these cards. Oh, I have to tell you one more thing. So if you get my newsletter, you may have read we're um, it's Kind of an exciting month we're having a pergola built on the back of our patio we really use our patio a lot we're having this pergola built and they last week they laid all the concrete and all that good stuff that part had all been done and we were waiting especially with weather in oklahoma of when they could come and build the pergola guess when they decided to start about 10 minutes ago <laughs> i'm like no but uh we didn't think they were coming until friday and then they let us know, again, due to some weather that's coming in this weekend, they asked if they could start today. And my husband was like, sure. And I'm like, babe, I go live here in just a little bit. So I don't think you're going to hear it on the live. But if you hear some noise or the dogs barking, that's because there's lots of activity going on in the backyard. So, Hey, hey Connie, yeah. I got to interrupt for just a sec. Yep. We have got people here from Wales from Puerto Rico, from the UK, and our sweet friend from Smith's Crafty Creations is on from Scotland. 
Scotland. Wow. The last time we seen her was in New Orleans. So. How yes. Far? yes. We had beignets together, didn't we? Um, no, she no. actually sat in your lap at one of the events. So. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> we have that picture. Yes. yes. <laughs> So well, anyway, thank you guys. everywhere. Yep. Everywhere from all over the world. I love that. That's, you know, I think that's really what makes YouTube so unique. And as crafters, as paper crafters, we're all about community and laughing and creating together. And I just, I love having YouTube out there so that we can, we can create together. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. So, and, and you know, I usually give my disclaimer, I promise. We, we do get to stamping around here. We just like to chat a little bit, give everyone an opportunity to get um, on the live. But how about we go ahead and head over and get one last swig of coffee. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go, my friends. All right, so I showed you the cards. I'm gonna set this one off to the side. We're gonna make that second. That's the one that has a pretty cool technique. And I'm just beyond thrilled to teach this one to you. So. Let's start with our supplies. You guys always know I have a free download that you can grab that will have all the measurements. So don't worry about writing anything down. Like we talked about at the beginning, we like to print these out, don't we? So you'll have your supply list, your um, measurements, your photos. If you need to come back and watch the video, you can click or scan here. With this one, you might need to come back. Um, you can always just jot down some notes. Um, there's your full supply list of the items I used. And yes, everybody, your favorite diagrams. I know you love your diagrams. I'm here for you. So uh, let's go ahead. Um, I am going to go over the supplies because we have a lot here. So I'm going to use the um, Flowering Zinnias Designer Series paper. So when you cut your designer series paper, this is a uh, six and three quarters by eight. And one of the things I want you to do, if you've got paper that is, um, that's got a special pattern to it, this one's random, right? Um, even the inside, it's random. So uh, you don't need to worry about that. But if it is directional, you're going to want it to be in portrait mode, all right? not landscape, we want portrait. So you're gonna want the six and three quarters up the top, eight inches down at the side, all right? So uh, let's see, so I've got that paper. I've got two more pieces here. This is a two and a quarter by two and a quarter and a two and a half by two and a half. And then you're going to need a scrap piece. And it might look something like this, something that we can cut out. Now, do you notice this one's in a corner? And if you were to cut out a flower, you go, well, what am I going to do with that one? It's all cut off. It's perfect for this. So if you've got just a little corner scrap that you can cut out a flower, that's going to be perfect. All right. Just letting you know. Okay. So that's our designer series paper. I've got three pieces of melon mambo, four and a quarter by five and a half. Uh, this one is a three and three quarters by five and then a two and a half by two and a half. All right. This one does have a little more cardstock, so stick with me here. I got some basic white. Uh, this is a three and a half by four and three quarters, two and a half by four. And the last thing is some gorgeous grape. And this is a two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And this, this is just a little one eighth inch scrap. Now in your notes, in your uh, download, it says um, one eighth by two and three quarters. You can do that too. But sometimes I know when you're working with little strips like this, it's almost easier to adhere it and then snip it. So this literally is just one eighth by whatever, as long as it's at least two and three quarters. Okay, well, we're going to start with the hard part. And it's not hard. I shouldn't say that. But I know probably the more intimidating part. I'm going to use my Simply Scored board, but you can easily do this on your um, paper trimmer with your scoring blade, all right? So I'm going to bring in my diagram so that you can see. I want the six and three quarters up at the top, so I want it in portrait mode, and I've got that. I'm going to score at two and three quarters, and then two and three quarters here. All right, so there's the two and three quarters. And again, following that diagram, whoops, let's go the right way. 
two and three quarters. So I'm going to give this just a quickie little fold. Oops. Hey, Connie. Yeah. I wanted to let you know that uh, the Xenia suite has been out of stock and it just got back in yesterday. Oh, awesome. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad. In fact, you guys, if you like this, you're going to want to tune in next Thursday because I've got two cards featuring this set. So that's awesome to know. Great. Thank you, Brenda. All right, guys. So you can see I've got a two and three quarter score here and a two and three score. Three, let the coffee kick in. Two and three quarters. So you can see I'm following the diagram. This one here, it's really easy to do. And guess what? We're not going to use the Simply Scored board. Okay, I'm going to flip it over, okay, because I want this to go the opposite direction. Now, here's the thing. With this particular paper, it's kind of hard for me with these bright lights and everything. It's hard for me to see. So if I have to kind of move this out of the way a little bit, just know it's only because I can't see. So this, this score line here needs to meet up with this score line here. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to fold it. And I, this, is, this is what I'm talking about. I cannot, I cannot see. Okay. Just like I said, kind of bear with me. You're going to be right in this corner. but. Just need to kind of get my head <laughs> in. I might have to get my hair in the camera shot. Let's see how I'm doing. Okay. Really, you, I promise you will not have to work this hard. It really is just because of uh, these bright lights. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm really just having a hard time seeing those. So my apologies, my friends. Okay. I think I got it there. I'm going to give that, I'm going to give it just a gentle press. Okay. Just a gentle one since I can't see it very well, but what we're going to do, I'm going to, this is the inside of my card. So you're going to watch the inside of your card up. See those lines? Watch this. I'm going to bring them together and then I'm going to bring this down. Oh, I did do pretty good. Okay. Good deal. Um, because I didn't crease it really hard. I do have the ability to kind of tweak it just a little bit. Can I just reiterate one more time? I really do not think it's going to be as difficult for you. I've made several of these and I had no problem at all. It really is because of those lights. Now, if this didn't line up perfectly, guess what? It's going to be hidden. And when it's open, they're going to have no idea. So don't, don't stress. Okay. Don't stress over it. But we've got that all adhered down. I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and add this. Let me find my, here we go. Uh, we're going to add multi purpose glue or your stamp and seal. I'm a stamp and seal girl, um, but whichever adhesive you prefer, this is going to fit right inside that four and a quarter by five and a half. So with that, it's now going to fit perfectly in a medium-sized envelope, okay? You're going to be good there. Okay. Remember, we had these two pieces of designer series paper and that melon mambo? You're going to find the one that'll layer. So this one's too big, so we know it's not that one. That's easy enough. And we will add this to our card. Um... Oh, Snowy Mom's getting those pesky commercials. Yeah, that's a YouTube thing, guys. I know that they are frustrating, but that's just part of YouTube. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you know how a few weeks ago we were talking about the YouTube premium? I decided to sign up for it. Boy, am I glad I did. I watch a lot of YouTube, and it has been well worth the money because that's, that's something I always have on in the background. Okay, do you see how I just added that to the square? Just kind of dressed it up a little bit. You could leave that off, but I really like that when it's open, we get that. All right, I wanted to break up some of this uh, Highland Heather in this designer series paper. And speaking of that, can we just talk about how great it is to show off both sides of the designer series paper? I love that because sometimes it just breaks my heart to have to cover up designer series paper. Uh, 
Michelle says Connie's cards are great. Oh, Michelle, thank you so much for that. I appreciate you so much. All right, guys, that's the beginning of our card. It's time to do some stamping. So I'm going to bring in, get a little grid paper here underneath me. Um, I'm actually going to start with this piece, this two and a half by two and a half of designer series paper. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card. And you're going to just cover up the bottom. I did not do that very well. So I'm going to try it again. I always blame the bright lights, but it is kind of hard when those lights are shining on you. But I do want to make sure I've covered up all of the white. That looks pretty good. And remember that little one eighth inch uh, piece of the um, gorgeous grape? I'm going to, I'm going to do just a little uh, stamp and seal on there. Honestly, I really probably this is the ones that I prefer to use the um, multi-purpose glue. So either one, but we're going to add that. And I'm going to snip off. I feel like I'm straight there. All right. Snip, snip. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now we can stamp. And of course, we're going to use the Simply Zenia stamp set. But I got to tell you something, guys. The only thing we're using out of this stamp set, and you know I love this stamp set. This is like my favorite flower set right now. But we're going to use these two here. Words fail to express my gratitude and the thanks so much. So if you don't have this, friends, please do yourself a favor and get this designer series paper. It's beautiful. And you can do so much with it. Um, and remember, that's flowering zinnias. All right. I'm going to add my thanks so much there and then to that uh three what was this a three and a half by four and three quarters we will stamp words fail to express my gratitude and so remember i told you we were going to take this little piece let me move this out of the way i'm going to show you how easy this is to fussy cut so this is another one of my favorite tips, and that is when you are fussy cutting, move the paper, not the scissors, okay? So you just kind of rotate your paper. A friend of mine shared this tip with me, and she said she learned it in kindergarten, and I'm like, man, Miss Brown never taught me that. Wish she had, but I'm going to teach it to you now. So you can see if you'll just move your paper. I am cutting this one right up to the edge of the design. Okay. So I'll tell you what, in advance, I did one. Okay. And you can see, see how it cut off the edge? Well, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to take our sentiment. We will get some adhesive on here. And you can add this to whatever side you want. I think I'm going to add it here. And I'm going to let some of that leaf hang off. And then I'm going to snip it off. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Maybe I'll leave it. Oh, I kind of like that. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it and let it hang off the edge. Do you guys like that? There we go. Look at us just being creative while we're all on together. All right. So there's another tip, I guess. Don't cut anything off until... You're sure you know what you want to do because I kind of like the edge of that flower, but I do like this. It's a great way. Like I said, it's a great way to use up any of those flowers that are right on the edge of something. All right. That part of our card is done. Oh my gosh. This part is way too easy. Oh, no Stampin' Dimensionals today, my friends. Um, this card is kind of, you know, with all the folds and everything is a little thick. So I didn't want to, um, add any Stampin' Dimensionals. I thought I better leave it alone. I'm going to add this right here. So I'm going to add some adhesive just on that flap, center it up, add it there. Let's come in with some of the silver and white ribbon and press it onto a mini glue dot. And 
we can add that we can pretty much add that anywhere you need it and that's all you need to do i'm going to give you another really great tip if you've never done this type of fold and you want to practice it grab a piece of copy paper or you know uh just anything uh, junk mail whatever you got but practice it um and practice that fold before you start working on your designer series paper i do it all the time i have a huge stack of copy paper i use for everything uh all right oh stella says she can't wait for simply zinnias it's beautiful let me tell you it's like i said hands down my favorite set okay we're going to create another card and this one well i am sad to tell you this paper is sold out um but i know many of you have it because this was an online exclusive it was out for a while this is the delightful delightful floral designer series paper and remember you want to have something that you can um, showcase both sides of the paper so let's go ahead we're going to go ahead and score this one remember we want that six and three quarters up at the top and we'll score at two and three quarters and two and three quarters so that our square is in the upper left corner. And again, my tips are to go ahead and give these edges just a little fold. Remember we flip it over and then we fold back. All right, let's see if I can get this one a little bit better. Like I said, you know what? Will you guys here? Um, look at my card. While well, I do this, where the light's not shining right at me, talk amongst yourselves, and uh, let's see. We'll talk about talk about the weather. Hey, Connie. Yeah. One of the gals on here, I got to scan back up. Marilyn said that she prints out your downloads and keeps them in a binder. It's her Connie Stewart binder, and it stays oh. on her craft table all the time. Oh, I love that. Oh, thank you. That was Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn. I love that. Well, thank you for being patient while I tried to get out of that bright light so I could see. Um, okay, I'm going to just kind of give that just a, a light little score. Okay, remember, we're going to take our two corners or our two triangle folds, bring them in. Okay, bring this one down. This is where you can manipulate it. This is why I didn't hit anything with a bone folder yet. Because if I didn't quite get that the way I want it, now I can come in. Now I can get that bone folder, okay? All right. So I'll tell you what, we are going to kind of zip through some of this because I know we just did it. Uh, I've got some granny apple green for my background piece, four and a quarter by five and a half the inside i just love the granny apple green in this card and this one will be a three three and three quarters by five adding that to the inside remember that little corner piece is just such a great way just to use up some scrap right Sometimes we have just those little leftover pieces. You could also stamp a sentiment here if you'd like and have more space to write your message. So you know how it is. I want your creativity to just shine through when you're ready to create. We'll add that right there. Okay, let's do some stamping on this one. I've got another technique to share with you. So for this one, we're going to use the translucent floral stamp set and by the way the stamp set is still available it's just the uh the paper that is gone okay so we're going to take this fabulous leafy image i got two colors granny apple green and pretty peacock here's the technique for today we're going to start with the granny apple let me go ahead and open up my my pretty peacock so we can work all right we're going to ink that up in granny apple i'm going to come in with a sponge dauber and i'm going to ink it up pretty pretty strong right in some pretty peacock and watch this i'm going to hit at the base of the leaves okay base of the leaves like that and if you wanted to add just a little there on the edges you could okay watch what we get i'm going to stamp this whoops let's stamp it on the right piece of paper 
and kind of at an angle because I'm going to be putting my sentiment right here. So I'm going to go a little bit at an angle. Are you ready? Are you ready? Check that out. Look at that pretty peacock and granny apple. It is so pretty. Okay, let's take our sentiment also from Translucent Florals in Pretty Peacock. Wishing you all the happiness in the world. I do need to clean this stamp because I've got those two colors in it right now, right? We don't want that. Let's give that a quick washi washi. And we're going to repeat this. Ink that up. Get my pretty peacock and let's do that again. Speaking of that copy paper, if this is a new technique to you, why not practice it on copy paper first, okay? I'm gonna put some grid paper underneath me because I am for sure gonna be stamping this off the edge. Cause I just, I don't know. I always like to add a little something to the insides of my cards, but isn't that gorgeous? I love it. All right, I got one more little sentiment. You're the best. Oh, goodness. Let's see if I can get it straight. There we go. And the last thing we need to do is we need to add this. And then I'm going to show you. We're going to add a little peacock. Come on, if he said a little peacock and gold ribbon to this. So I want to go ahead and add it to my cardstock. Let me grab where did my ribbon go. Oh, it, that was my ribbon. All right, so what I want to do, ugh, pick it up. I'm going to tie this in a square knot around the front of my card. So right over left and under. And you guys remember, you pull up and down, not left to right, pull straight up and down. I'm going to hold that. And now left over right and under. Only pull what's in your left hand. And that'll give you that pretty square knot every time. Grab my scissors and we'll trim that down. We can add this to the front of our card. Remember, we just put our adhesive here, just on that corner flap. We've got that. I'm going to add this to the inside of my card. These cards really can go together pretty darn fast, right? I like that. And like I said, I love that I can showcase both sides of my designer series paper. Okay, so let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Hey, um, Connie. Yeah. We have a question that I wondered if you could um, address. Yeah. Becky wants to know if there are any tricks to doing the fold with cardstock she couldn't get the folds to eat to even come close to lining up. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I originally tried this with cardstock and I did not have great success either because cardstock is so thick. So I gotta tell you, I really think this card is going to be better when you use designer series paper, especially here, it's gonna get so bulky. I mean, look at all that, all that layer going on. Um, if you try to do it with cardstock. So um, the other thing that you could do is make yourself a template. Let me see. You know what? We're just going to do it. What time is it? We're, we're going to go a little long. That's fine. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop this. So I'm going to cut this down. And I'm going to show you with this how you can make yourself a little template. So we're going to just take some copy paper or junk mail you would never use your downloads for this, right guys? Just tell me you wouldn't do that. And this needs to be by eight, okay? All right, so, and you know what? Since I've got this out, I'm gonna do my two and three quarter, I'm gonna do my scoring this way and this way. All right, so let me show you. And who was it that asked this question? Friend? Sorry, I was muted. Her name, is, her name is Becky. Becky. Okay, Becky. So watch this. We're going to do this. All right. I'm going to fold this back. And again, oh, look here. I can see the line so much better now. Okay, see how I did that? Watch this. Come back in. 
I can trim this off. Well, maybe now I can't see that. It's always something, right? And you can use that as a template. So when you bring in your cardstock, let's see if I can find a piece of cardstock. This is all I got. So let's pretend this is it. And you have these score lines on there. Take your bone folder and draw that. Okay. Just come in with your bone folder and that now you've got a template. Okay. I know it's a funny template, but it does work. So you might try that, but just be aware. Oh, it's so thick. So this would probably, if you did it in cardstock, it would probably be better if this was a hand delivered card because it's going to get real bulky up there. All right, Becky, I hope that helps. I hope so. Okay, friends, let me um, zip over here for a second. So I will not be live next week. Uh, Mr. Awesome and I are going to go on vacation. So we um, won't be here. Hopefully we'll not be sunburned and uh, we're going to go and enjoy Mexico next week. So um, that doesn't mean I don't have a video for you because I do. I've got a really cool two cards created with the Simply Zinnia stamp set. And we're going to be using the dies and then we're not going to use the dies on one. And so, yeah, you're going to have some great um, options with that stamp set. So be sure to come back next week. It won't be live, but we will be here. Just head over to YouTube and uh, check it out. Okay. Thank you guys. Christina, thanks for hanging with us. I know you're not feeling well and I really appreciate you being over there on Facebook. Brenda, as always, thank you for being on YouTube, answering questions. And thank you guys for asking your questions. Um, that's what I'm here for. That's what these lives are all about. I really love uh, just being able to create along with you and um, share what I know. So thank you for that. Guys, if you like the video, Give me a thumbs up. I always love it when you do. It lets me know what you like to see and what you want to see more of. So if you like those fun folds, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, just click the subscribe button and click the notifications. Uh, click that bell so that YouTube can let you know whenever I'm back with another video because we'd love to have you here on the channel. All right, my friends, thank you again so much for being here. Remember, if you're in the United States, you can follow that link. Uh, in your download and uh, place your order. I'd love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you again, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.